Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, since President William Samuel Ruto took over government, I have been following and listening to the comments and reactions from Kenyans. And if you listen to Kenyans, you are going to realize that Kenyans have been engulfed with the somber mood. The border border, Mamboga, the hustler. Everyone in this country is wailing. And during the campaign, eh, President William Ruto promised Kenyans that he's going to change this economy. This is what he posted eh, on 15th June. We must bring to a stop an administration that is burdening Wanainchi with the high cost of living. Voting for Kenya Kwanzaa on August 9th means voting for affordable price of fuel, food, among other basic commodity, commodities. That is what William Ruto posted. But then after taking over power, this is the real situation on the ground. Hapa tuko na shida mingi sana sana. Mafuta sasa hivi ni 250 na kuna hii petroli moja peke yake hizo zingine zimeisha kabisa na unaona hii jam. Eh na hao watu wanategemea tupeleke porini. Inabidi walale wote huko kwa sababu hakuna mafuta. Kwa hivyo tunaomba serikali yetu eh especially huyu Azla mwenzetu ambaye tumemchagua ashukulikie hii mambo eh hata imekuwa hii ndio was kuliko hata chakula kwa hivyo tunaomba serikali ingililie kati sasa hizi mafuta ni 250 mafuta imepanda saidi inabidi tulale bisi na bidi mahali ya kulala hakuna pikipiki inaenda hakuna magari inaenda kwa hivyo tunaomba mheshimiwa wetu Ruto ambaye tumekuchagua juzi na wadhali utuangalilie namwambia wakiongozi wetu wote atuangalilie mambo ni ngumu kiangasi ni mpaya tunaangaika tunataka kubeba maunga ya, ya ngombe hatuna uwezo pesa hakuna jana mafuta imepanda kwa hivyo hata hatuwezi kwenda nyumbani hatuwezi kwenda kuona now we are continuing with the panel discussion but just a quick request you might be watching this channel but you're not yet subscribed so my humble request please consider subscribing so that another time once release a video like this one you will always get notified again to all our channel subscribers and the no drop comment i must say thank you so much for your unconditional support Again, I'm requesting you to give our video a thumbs up so that YouTube can commend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, after Mamamboga voting for William Samay Ruto, the border border, the hustler, poor of the poorest, the people whom Ruto told that we are going to remove the dynasty and bring in the hustler government, that group that voted for William Ruto, after they voted, now William Ruto is the president of the Republic of Kenya. Then the same group is here, crying, wailing. You can see the somber mode in this country. So what can we conclude and say about President William Samuel Ruto? Did Ruto duped the Boda Boda and the Mamboga during campaign? Was he lying to the Hasla nation or what has happened? Because Ruto promised that the first thing he will deal with in his first 100 days, of course three months, will be to solve the problem of economy in this country. And his deputy, Rigada Gashagwa, also initiated that the only person who has derailed it the solution to the economy in this country, it is Raila Odinga who took them to the Supreme Court. It has been kuwa na mamba ya Supreme Court, saizi bei ya maisha ingekuwa imepungua. Regarding Gashagwa told the people. And now these two are here. Yet, people are crying. <laughs> in fact, when Mamboga was voting for William Ruto, the hustler, the border border, 
This is what they were thinking that the first thing William Samaritan is going to do is to lower the price of fuel. Because once you lower the price of fuel, you're going to solve the problem of Mamboga, the border border, and the hustler. But what has happened on the ground is exactly the opposite, contrary to what Mamboga expected in William Ruto's leadership. The first thing that has happened is that the subsidy that was there to cushion on the issue of fuel was scrapped. William wrote a little subsidy. And after removing the subsidy, now the super petrol price was increased by 20 shillings. The diesel price was increased by 25 shillings. Now, kerosene price has increased by 20 shillings. Ile serikali ya uhuru walikuwa wanasema maisha iko juu. I don't know what the hustler will say after Ruto increasing this basic commodity. Uh, in fact, you know fuel will always define the next price of the commodities in this country. Fuel is the one that will determine whether the price of other commodities will go high or it will reduce. So as well as speaking now, once this price has increased, it will also cause the other prices of basic commodities to increase in this country. As simple as that. So you are crying that Uhuru Kenyatta regime had increased the had met the, the 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 expectation of basic commodity to go very high. Maisha ya mekuwa ngumu. Sasa hii ya ruto mutasema maisha yiko aje. Imerudi chini ama ndo imepanda zaidi. Because the opposite has happened. In fact, now what you should know is that even KRA as of now, Kenya Revenue Authority is set to implement the annual inflation adjustment of exercise taxation. So, bado, garama ya maisha inaenda kupanda. In fact, they are going to increase by 6.3. So, they are going to touch on the juice, water, beer, cigarette, wine, among other items. So, what you should know is that you have to tighten the tight belt. Mukaze mikanda ambaye tiari isha kazwa. So whatever you are hearing in a Kenya Kwanza campaign was just slogan of winning the vote. Na kama kwamba kungekuwa na koti ya kuenda kustaki mweshimi wa rais William Samoy Ruto basi baada ya siku mia moja wa Kenya inafaa waende kustaki ruto ya kwamba aliwadanganya and after cheating or lying to them he has now failed to deliver he gave promises that he did not or he cannot deliver it was hot air <laughs> who was complaining that he is not the one who caused the war in Ukraine which has caused the price of fuel to go high but Ruto and his team was, were telling Kenya that Vita Ziko Ukraine, not in Kenya. But look at this. The problem is not only in Kenya. This problem is everywhere. So there was no way Ruto was going to bring a quick solution like a miracle from nowhere. Because you have to compare these prices. Look at this. In Kenya, the price of fuel is standing at 179.30 shillings. Tanzania, 157.41 shillings. DRC Congo, 147.25 shillings. Rwanda, 186.63 shillings. And Ethiopia, 111.76 shillings. Very fair. Uganda, 
0.79 shillings. In fact, when they were campaigning, they were trying to insinuate that the price of basic commodity in Uganda is cheaper than Kenya, that fuel in Uganda is cheaper than Kenya. But look at the price of fuel in Uganda. The reality on the ground is that Uganda has set at 207. It's even higher than Kenya <laughs> after they have already increased. The only country that has favorable price, it is Ethiopia with 111.76 shillings. And then followed by, I think, DRC Congo, 147. And then after DRC Congo, we have Tanzania, which is favorable, 157 shillings. Then Rwanda. So Kenya and, Tanz and Uganda, that is where the problem is. So, wana hustlers, na wala watu ambao wanipigia Ruto kura, Ruto was not coming to perform a miracle, not a surgery, but... The, rule, the truth of the matter is that the economy is not doing good and he might not bring solution within a day or later. So it is time to face the reality. But the worst thing is that he has removed even the subsidy that was trying to cushion the poor of the poorest. So between Uhuru who was referred to as a dynasty and Ruto who came in as a hustler who has tried to cushion the poor people in this country. Iyo nimekuachia, majipu tupatane kwa comment section. See you in our next video.